guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Uh, today I got a kind of an interesting story. Uh, wouldn't you know, it turns out as this Davos uh, meeting happens in Switzerland with all the elite and our government, uh, our governments and our CEOs and everybody that wants to rule over us, even though they weren't elected, and they're meeting up to uh, plan the fate of the world. Turns out a lot of professionals have been hired to go up in the area. So I think on our tax dollars, uh, we're paying for ladies of the night to service our elites. Uh, if you haven't, no, if you don't know anything about Davos, uh, this is this is live from Davos. It's tragic. Well, that that's current live feed from Davos. Uh, we'll get into the story here. Uh, this is from Not the Bee, and uh, uh, I found this in my Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, it's at Bachelor Joker. That's where I find a lot of the stuff that I talk about. So if you want to know where I'm sourcing some of my things, uh, Not the Bee posted. So it turns out that a bunch of high end professionals are in Davos, Switzerland. At the same time, all the world leaders are gather gathering for the WEF meeting. What a coincidence! Who could have imagined? Um, and they say, uh, this actually came from the uh, Daily Mail is the main story. They say, uh, professionals gather in, in Davos for annual meeting of global elite where demand for the uh, sexy fun services rockets during economic summit. Uh, they report a surge in business during the annual gathering of leaders. They're booked into delegates hotels alongside business executives and they dress in business attire and rub shoulders with the global elite. So if you ever wanted to see what's going on in Davos, Davos and you're not a professional uh, elite, uh, just become a professional. And apparently you can get in and see what's going on. But they don't want to embarrass themselves, so they make them dress up as if they belong there until they take them back to the rooms and have their way, way with them. <laughs> and we're paying for this, guys, with our taxes. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, the global elite tackling the world's greatest problems, including uh, gender equality at the Davos summits are fueling a surge in uh, professional use in the Swiss resort town. Let me see if I can zip this up a little bit more for us. Uh, they're so bad at formatting. You'd think a professional newspaper could uh, format their page. Uh, the demand for the work skyrockets each year at the meeting of the world leaders and business tycoons who jet in from all over the world to rub shoulders with each other. Uh, the professionals are booked into the same hotels as high-powered bosses and their employees during their five-day summit, which started on January 16th. Uh, one worker named Liana said she dresses in business attire so she doesn't stand out among the executives despite professionals being legal in Switzerland. Um, and I don't know who this is. This is Salman uh, Salom uh, Balthus. A, a, a worker and writer says she's staying at a hotel near, near Davos during the summit. So this is, this is the woman that's uh, uh, basically taking your tax dollars so the rich elite can do the old in and out during their Davos summit. How many of these guys are married? How many of these guys, you know, are using our tax dollars for this? There's a whole, there's a whole lot of government out there up to a, a bunch of uh, shenanigans, but remember, they're going to tell you how to live your life. And, uh, in some places, you'll still get arrested for this. But since it's legal there, I guess they're like, hey, when in Rome or when in Switzerland, uh, she, she told Build she regularly sees an American who visits Switzerland multiple times a year and is among the 2,700 conference attendees. Uh, Liana charges around 700 euro for an hour and 2,300 euro for the whole night plus travel expenses. So she's not cheap. But then again, when, when they're spending your tax dollars, who cares how much it costs? Uh, the manager of one uh, service in uh, Arg Argau, 100 miles away from the summit, says she has already received 11 bookings and 25 inquiries and expects many more to follow in the week. She told 20 Minuten, uh, some also book uh, the professionals for themselves and their employees to party in the hotel suite. So even their employees are getting in on the action. Uh, Salom Balthus, a worker and writer, and when I say worker, I'm skipping the, the spicy worker here. That just imply that's what I'm talking about. Uh, posted on Twitter, Dayton, Switzerland during WWF means looking at the gun, oh, looking at the uh, muzzles of security guards in the hotel corridor at 2 a.m. and then sharing the giveaway chocolates from the restaurant with them and gossiping about the rich. <laughs> so, so maybe the guards are uh, rubbing elbows with these ladies as well. 
Uh, the 36-year-old is staying at the hotel near Davos throughout the summit, but refused to reveal who the influential clients are. Of course, you don't, you're not going to burn that bridge, obviously, especially when you're probably making five and $10,000 across the event. She cautioned, believe me, you don't want to get into litigation with them. <laughs> In 2020, an investigation by the Times found that at least 100 professionals tra traveled to Davos for the summit, according to a Swiss police officer. One uh, official driver from the forum said he picked up one worker who claimed she had been uh, forced by her boss to sleep with an older client at the delegate's hotel. Among the topics up for the discussions here at the summit is there's the Ukraine conflict, global inflation rates, climate change, and inequality. <laughs> uh, Ukraine's first lady, Olana Zel uh, Zelenska, will give a rare international address uh, at the annual gathering. The bug torpedoed the event for that past two years. But a springtime event was held a couple of years ago. Dozens of sessions uh, will be focused. I bet there's going to be a lot of sessions going on. 600 executive chefs, 50 heads of state. Um, you know, here's the thing that, that just kind of blows me this, uh, blows away, uh, blows me away. Is it's, they said... Uh, it said over a thousand private jets flights have arrived and departed airports and servicing Davos just in, uh, uh, in May of last year, I guess it was. Well, what amazes me about this is these are the people, and this isn't, I mean, it's not like it's, this is earth shattering. Of course, you're going to have professionals at these kind of events because that's, you know, global meeting and rich people and everybody wants to be serviced in any way, shape or manner. But what blows me away is the fact that each one of these jets, I forget who did a review of it, but it was something like um, the jet that Bill Gates took out there. Maybe it was Bill Gates. It was one of the others. But anyway, something like 55,000 pounds of CO2 is released for that one jet taking one person over there. Now multiply that by a thousand, right? And then the, the average yearly expenditure of a vehicle, like an average everyday car, is something like a hundred pounds. So that's a whole lot of people can drive their entire lives and never equate to one plane flight for one person to go out there for one event. And we've got thousands of them out there. And you know, they're eating Kobe beef and they're eating lobster and, and, all the delicacies that are flown out for, uh, for them, cooked by private chefs, living in their pampered lifestyle while they come up with plans for how you're no longer going to be able to drive, like they're getting ready to do. I think it's in either Scotland or Ireland, um, where they, they want to regulate how much you can drive, how much meat you can eat, you know, if, if you can even have a gas stove anymore. And in the meantime, they're out there living life large. They do not have anyone's best interest in mind except their own. But I thought I would at least uh, bring up this to give you a reminder of what's going on with Davos and that, you know, we got to put up, everybody owes Alex Jones a couple of dollars in the tip jar now. We like him or hate him. He's been talking about this stuff for a decade and he went from like crackpot, weirdo, you know, nutbag to, oh yeah, he was totally right. And look, they're actually doing it. And turns out that Hollywood does have a, uh, what's the word I can use here? A, a child uh, attraction problem. And so do our elites and that they're pushing this stuff globally. And I don't know about the whole, you know, <laughs> drink, drinking the blood of the youth, um, but the Davos thing and how these political elites and these, these CEO elites are looking at how to run our lives. Looks like uh, it looks like all the tinfoil hat people have been right for the last little bit. So, you know, when we when we say, "Hey, pay attention to stuff," um, you kind of have to now because they're they're making rules for all of us um, while they're being paid by our tax dollars, and they're even on top of that, even on top of getting all these special rewards and fine foods and traveling and and figuring out how rough they can make our lives and how great they can make, make theirs, uh, they're getting service by, by professionals. I'm pretty sure many of you young guys or single guys out there wouldn't mind a, a night or so with a $700, a $700 an hour professional. Maybe you wouldn't, but it seems our elites are perfectly fine spending our tax money for it. Um, guys, uh, join me over at betterbachelor.locals.com. I'll have more content out here for you shortly today. Uh, and it turns out that Meta, Meta is actually... Um, <laughs> 
Meta's actually going broke because of these entitled, you know, narcissistic ladies that are working for them. I'll have a story about that coming up shortly. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.